Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into an important topic that affects many lives. HIV transmission from female to male. Understanding how HIV is transmitted is crucial for prevention and awareness, especially in the United States where many people are seeking reliable information about HIV testing and safety. So whether you're looking for information for yourself or someone you care about, stay tuned and watch the video till the end, I have a bonus tip for you to stay safe from HIV infections. Key factors that increase the risk of HIV transmission from female to male. Now, let's break down how HIV is transmitted from females to males. HIV is primarily spread through bodily fluids such as blood, semen, vaginal fluids, and breast milk. When discussing female to male transmission specifically, it's important to note that the risk factors can vary based on several elements. Unprotected vaginal intercourse. Engaging in vaginal sex without a condom is a significant risk factor. The virus can be transmitted through vaginal fluids, which may contain high concentrations of HIV, especially if the female partner is not on effective antiretroviral therapy. The mucous membranes in the male partner's urethra are particularly susceptible to infection during this type of exposure. Menstrual cycle. Interestingly, studies have shown that the risk of transmission increases if the female partner is menstruating. This is due to changes in the vaginal environment that may enhance susceptibility. Presence of other STIs. If either partner has a sexually transmitted infection, STI, this can significantly increase the likelihood of HIV transmission. For instance, conditions like chlamydia or gonorrhea can create inflammation and make transmission more likely. Acute or late stage HIV infection. If the female partner has a high viral load during acute infection or late stage HIV, the likelihood of transmission increases significantly. During acute infection, viral loads can be extremely high, making transmission more likely during unprotected intercourse. Bacterial vaginosis. This condition, characterized by an imbalance of bacteria in the vagina, has been linked to an increased risk of HIV acquisition. Women with bacterial vaginosis may have a 61% higher risk of contracting HIV compared to those without it. Biological factors. Certain biological characteristics can also play a role. For example, uncircumcised men may have a higher risk due to more susceptible tissue under the foreskin. Additionally, any activity that causes tearing or inflammation, such as rough sex, can increase susceptibility to infection. Understanding these factors can help individuals make informed decisions about their sexual health and engage in safer practices to reduce their risk of HIV transmission. For example, consider a scenario where a woman living with HIV engages in unprotected vaginal intercourse with her male partner. If she has a high viral load, meaning there's a lot of virus present in her blood and fluids, this increases her chances of transmitting HIV during sex. Understanding these factors helps us grasp why education and awareness are so vital in preventing the spread of HIV. Testing and resources. The importance of early detection. Now that we understand how transmission occurs, let's talk about testing and resources available for early detection of HIV. One of the most effective ways to detect HIV early is through an HIV RNA test. Unlike traditional tests that look for antibodies produced by your immune system, an RNA test detects the actual virus in your blood. This means it can identify an infection as soon as 9, 11 days after exposure making it incredibly valuable for those who may have been at risk. Here are some key points about HIV RNA testing. High accuracy. These tests boast an accuracy rate of 99% when taken within the recommended time frame after potential exposure between nine to 11 days. Quick results. Many labs can provide results within just a few days, allowing for timely intervention if needed. Confidentiality. Testing at reputable labs ensures your privacy and confidentiality throughout the process. Testing and resources. So, what should you do if you're concerned about exposure? If you're concerned about potential exposure or just want peace of mind, I encourage you to seek out an early detection test. One of the most reliable tests available is the HIV RNA test. It can detect the virus as early as 9 to 11 days after exposure, long before other tests can. The sooner you know your status, the faster you can start treatment if needed. And if the test is negative, you can breathe easier and make more informed choices moving forward. For those looking for convenient options, I recommend visiting HIVRNATest.com. They offer quick, affordable, and confidential FDA-approved HIV testing across the United States, with over 4,500 testing labs available. 
It's a reliable resource for anyone seeking to understand their health better. Benefits of lab testing at HIVRNATest.com Speed. Results in one to two business days. Privacy. No need for a doctor's visit, completely confidential. Convenience. With over 4,500 labs across the United States, you can get tested in a lab close to your location. FDA-approved tests. All HIV STD tests are FDA-approved. So there you have it. Understanding HIV transmission from female to male is crucial for prevention and awareness. Remember that knowledge is power when it comes to your health. If you found this video informative or know someone who could benefit from this information, please share it. And don't forget to visit HIVRNATest.com for all your testing needs, because taking charge of your health starts with getting tested. Before you go, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable health insights. Let's spread knowledge, not fear. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover next time, drop them in the comments below. Stay safe and informed.